which piqued my interest in your masthead, The Mirror, this week, about Harry finding himself in a strangely unfamiliar place and which grows increasingly unfriendly. What was the rationale for that piece? Well, I think for Prince Harry, it's been a, it's quite a tumultuous time, hasn't it? I mean, it, it still seems very, very fresh in the memory, their decision to, to leave the royal family, both him and Meghan. There was obviously the COVID times that were very unsettling for a lot of people. They first went to Canada, then to America. And have they found their feet? That's, uh, that's certainly uh, a decision that they I don't think they've come to. I think that they still are trying to work out what is best for them. Of course, we've seen the, the uh, Oprah Winfrey interviews, the, the Netflix series. Harry's book was very, very explosive. Now Meghan's going in a different direction. And Harry's really yet to sort of find what he wants to do for his future. But listen, I think that uh, things with the royal family have been well documented. The fractiousness of that relationship is still very, very raw. And, uh, and whether that is repaired, I can't see that happening anytime soon. And, and if that's the point, Russell, if, if, you, if you can't see it being repaired, then from, from Harry and Meghan's point of view, what is, the, what is the next steps, I suppose, to, you know, draw out some of the divisiveness in that relationship? Well, it's interesting, Cara, because the, the, the fact remains that uh, you know, Harry and Meghan have done things their own way. They've chosen to go on a certain path. They've chosen to criticise the royal family. And, you know, we know that Harry has been pulled aside by people, uh, members of the royal family, to say, Listen, this isn't the way to go about things. And certainly they, um, they, they need to sort of take the fire out of their relationship in order to try and mend those, uh, those wounds that have been very, very sore for the royal family and, uh, and have wounded Harry and Meghan as well, I think. So yeah, going forward, I think, we're, of course, we're seeing Meghan go in a completely different direction with this lifestyle brand. Where will Harry do some more things with, uh, with uh, his charity work? It remains to be seen. I still think they're, they're still trying to find their feet sort of three or four years on.